Are you single? If yes, please listen to this very important message. My friend, you live in a romance-centered world. Meaning to say, at a certain age, when you reach 25 and 27 and 29 and 30 years old, and you're not yet married, people will raise their eyebrow and say, mm, there's something wrong with you. What is, what's your problem? When people don't get married, they kind of like say, maybe, maybe, maybe there's something else going on there. You know, maybe that person is not ready. Maybe psychologically there's something wrong. And I scratch my head and I say, wait, wait, wait. Why do we expect everyone to get married? Because if you look at our church, if you look at scripture, there are different callings from God. Marriage is a very valid, beautiful calling, but it's not for everyone. God also calls some people to be single, to be single for life. Yes, absolutely. I have wonderful, wonderful friends who are happy singles. They want to live life in that way for God. My own sister has been living single for all her life. My eldest sister, she's a widow. Her husband died decades ago, never remarried. She continues to love the Lord and serve the Lord as a single person. My friends, there's one story I want to share with you, and it's very close to my heart because it is about a one of my earliest mentors. Her name was Sister Angelina Lim. I was 12, 13 years old, 14 years old, thereabouts, when I got to know her and I started visiting her for spiritual advice and direction. And she was already in her late 70s, very near 80s. She was on a wheelchair. She could not stand up anymore. And I remember one of our conversations. She said, Brother Bo, can I tell you some chismis? And I said, what, sister? And she said, before I became a nun, I had a boyfriend. And so we were both laughing. And then I said, so why did you become a nun? And then she said, you know what? I was happy with my boyfriend. He was guapo. <laughs> so we were both laughing. And she said she was, and he was so mabait. He was kind. But one day, I had a calling from God to become a nun. I, I desired to become a nun. And then I searched my heart and I realized something. My heart was so big. It wanted to embrace the world. And if I was just going to embrace my boyfriend, I would be okay. But no, God made my heart to be so big. I wanted to embrace God and His church. And that meant everyone, uh, the people, God's people. And so she was one of the happiest people I have met in my life. Imagine, almost in her 80s, old, frail, weak, on a wheelchair, cannot stand up, but incredibly happy. And if you are single right now, I want you to believe this. God wants you to be happy. Now, some of you will be called to married life. Absolutely, say yes to that. Some of you will be called to single life, but serve God, give your life to Him. Let your purpose be, I want to be a light to others. In our gospel for today, Jesus gives a picture of what heaven will be like, that there will be no more marriage the way we understand it, but He says that we will be like angels. Whatever that means, I don't know but it simply means, you know, uh, I've not yet been there. So, friend, I just want you that this is what will never change. This is what we, we know for sure, for certain, that in the future, in heaven, you and I will be with God, loving Him and serving Him. Let's keep on doing that right now, whether you're married or whether you're single. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, thank you that right now you call us to love you and serve you. And whether marriage or single is in our future, we are happy because we know you will be there in our future. And we thank you that our lives are yours and we will serve you forever in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Do you want to receive abundance in your life in every single area? 
my friend, sign up for my soul food letter at bosanchez.ph. You will receive brief, actionable, practical, very effective advice on your career, finance, health, relationships, love life, and your spiritual life. Delivered to your inbox every week. Sign up now.